Newly released video shows the aftermath of the police killing of Breonna Taylor in Louisville nearly four months ago. Officers conducting a drug raid burst into Taylor's home and shot her eight times. National correspondent Jerika Duncan has a video showing the tension between police and Taylor's boyfriend. Home outside. Tag three, everyone. Brianna Taylor's sister, Janiah Palmer, posted this neighbor's video on social media Wednesday night. In it, police are seen in front of the apartment building where Taylor and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, lived. Police are pointing guns and shouting commands at Walker, who they later arrested. Turn around, face away! Turn around, face away! You can hear Kenny saying, my girlfriend's in there, she's been shot, and their main concern was not my sister. Just minutes before, Louisville officers executed a no-knock search warrant at Taylor's home as part of a drug investigation. But attorneys for Taylor's family say no drugs were ever found. In newly released audio of Kenneth Walker's interview with Louisville police, Walker says he and Taylor were in bed the night of March 13th when they heard someone banging on the door. She's like, who is it? Loud at the top of her lungs. No response. Louisville police say officers did knock and identified themselves, but Taylor's family attorney, Ben Crump, says that's not true. Everybody there said they never heard the police identify themselves. In his interview with investigators, Louisville Police Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly explained that despite having a no-knock warrant, they knocked because they didn't consider Taylor a major threat. Our intent was to give her plenty of time to come to the door because they said she was probably there alone. But she wasn't alone. Walker, a licensed gun owner, fired one shot, hitting Mattingly in the leg. The door, like, comes, like, off the hinges. So I just let off one shot. Like, I still can't see who it is or anything. And so I just returned fire. I got four rounds off. Um, and it was like simultaneous. It's boom, 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 boom. Since Taylor's death, Louisville banned no-knock warrants. She started filming as police were ordering Taylor's boyfriend, Kenny Walker, out of the apartment. Turn around, face away! Give me one patrolman if you like it. You can hear Kenny. He was probably in our traumatized. Keep walking backwards! He's gonna keep hanging upstairs. It seems like he's following what they're saying, following their orders. Look at all the police out there. All the time, all the How many police would you say, if you had to guess, were outside? At least 20. And excluding the SWAT and stuff, it was a lot. Only three officers. Brett Hankison, Jonathan Mattingly, and Miles Cosgrove have been identified in connection with the shooting. But previously unseen cell phone footage obtained by Vice News shows as many as two dozen officers on scene shortly after the raid, including several in uniform, who according to LMPD policy, should be wearing a body camera. Officers who said the department regularly covers up bad behavior. One of them, Richard Gibbs, has worked for six police departments in his career and says nothing came close to the unchecked misconduct he witnessed within LMPD. He retired from the department in 2015. I don't even feel good like I used to feel about being a police officer. Did you witness police abusing their power on the force? Yes, I have. Uh, and and the, the biggest one is use of force, putting your hands on somebody when you don't have to. I've even seen situations where I went to do a narcotic search and the guy is telling me that is not mine. They put that there. Little bag of dope, little, some crap. You wanna call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. Uh -uh. <laughs> the house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Open and shut case, Johnson. I saw this once before when I was a rookie. <laughs> Apparently this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. <laughs> well, let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. Why do you think more officers, current officers, are not speaking out? They're scared. They're scared and they've been brainwashed to think that you just don't do that. I never felt comfortable or even at ease of going to like the chief and say, hey chief, there's some racism or some unfairness going on, uh, look into it, no.
Did you witness retaliation in the department? I was pulled into an internal affairs investigation where an officer uh, used excessive force. When I told the truth, the colonel kept asking me, is that the truth? Like, is there another scenario that you want to give? And I picked up on it right away that she was trying to get me to change my story. Well, this guy that was, you know, alleged to do this got promoted. And that's what I've seen the police department do. When these people do things that are against policy, they're promoted. What happened to you after you tried to tell what happened? Just basically uh, ostracized. For instance, if I wanted to try to um, get on another special unit, I was just, the door was shut. Blackballed. Do you think that Breonna Taylor's case is an isolated example? No, no, it's not isolated. If you dig in LMPD's uh, history, they got a long history of, of, of shooting people. This city has buried a lot of bodies. That, you know, there's a lot of skeletons. What is it about? You forgot a fire truck, you know that. See, you just said you we were not. In the bed. We were scared. No, we didn't know who it was. Yes. But it's not just that there were more police there after. There were also at least four more officers present during the raid, according to Detective Mattingly's own testimony. I scooted back, and I think at that time, Miles slid up. I know Tony was behind me. Mike was to the right of the door with the ram. It was Brett, Hoover, and Campbell had come up um, around the corner at that point uh, by the stairs. back. You have anything on you or anything I need to know about? No. no guns, nothing. Come over here. Right over here. No guns or nothing that's going to hurt me. How old are you? 14. 14. I'm going to look and make sure you don't have no guns, okay? Nothing that's going to hurt me. The Attorney General's office declined a request for an interview. The Louisville Metro Police Department never responded. But we did sit down with Mayor Greg Fisher, who's been a target of the protesters demanding transparency and accountability and who has both access to information about Taylor's death and the power to release it. The Attorney General's office, the FBI, they took up this case in mid-May, but Breonna Taylor was killed on March 13th. So you had about two months to share information with the public, um, to be uh, forthright with them. You as mayor have, have the ability to share information. Why didn't you in those first two months? So I said, let's put out the body camera evidence. Unfortunately, in this case, while well, we guess we did have a press conference, there's no body camera evidence. And that is what the real frustrating part is about the whole Breonna, K Breonna Taylor tragedy is with body camera evidence, we would know what took place. In Detective Mattingly's testimony, he mentions at least seven officers who are on scene during the entry. Were those officers wearing body cameras? Not to my knowledge. 
You as mayor have access to that information. Um, have you asked for it? I've been briefed on the PIU. That issue's not been addressed immediately. If there's body camera evidence that was w at the moment of when all the action went down and it's not been produced, that would be a significant problem. I believe that the department said that the three officers who discharged their weapon were not wearing body cameras. Brett Hankison, Miles Cosgrove, and Mattingly. Is that your understanding? Yes. Were you aware of the four other officers on scene during the entry? I was aware that there's other officers out outside and obviously more officers came uh, after the incident took place. But those are the seven who were there during the entry. Mattingly makes that uh, fairly clear in his testimony. Um, was that news to you? Uh, my focus has, has been on, you know, officer with the warrant, Chains, and then Cosgrove, Mattingly, and Hankinson. So far, the only people the Attorney General has pressed charges against are the 87 who sat on his lawn. There's still no timetable for the AG's investigation. The sacrifice that was made here today is history. You understand? Y'all set history to this. Every single protester, all 87 of us, have been charged with a felony. But to be clear, that felony charge is bullshit. Okay? You did this to us, we're coming back. We're not afraid. We're here for the long term. So we've got a little bit of breaking news here. Um, turns out there will be no justice for Breonna Taylor. So as AP reports, a Kentucky grand jury brought no charges against Louisville police for the killing of Breonna Taylor during a drug raid gone wrong, with prosecutors saying Wednesday that two officers who fired their weapons at the black woman were justified in using force to protect themselves. Wow. The only charges brought by the grand jury were three counts of wanton endangerment against fired officer Brett Hankison for the shooting into Taylor's neighbors' homes during the raid on the night of March 13th. The FBI is still investigating potential violations of federal law in the case. Ben Crump, a lawyer for Taylor's family, denounced the decision as outrageous and offensive. And protesters shouting no justice, no peace began marching through the streets. Some sat quietly and wept. Later, scuffles broke out between police and protesters, and some were arrested. The announcement of the charges drew immediate sadness, frustration, and anger that the grand jury did not go further. The wanton endangerment charges each carry a sentence of up to five years. Right after the decision, protesters brought cases of water to Injustice Square, the Louisville Park where people have gathered to demand justice for Taylor. Some began preparing food. Later, police in the city cordoned off a street with yellow tape and officers with protective gear could be seen handcuffing some people. Some scuffles broke out and police ordered a group that broke off from the protests to disperse, warning that chemical agents might be used if they didn't. Now, Hayes Gardner, a reporter for Courier Journal, actually uh, has some video footage that he posted to Twitter of this scene, what's being described here. And as you're going to see, the police officers are very obviously trying to intimidate people who are doing nothing, who are just standing there and being peaceful. Take a look. <laughs> Hampton Hotel, which is apparently a staging ground.
Look at all these motherfucking white police on the $3,000. Let me know if I gotta go, alright? to uh, avoid any of the roadblocks on uh, Broadway. Behind the block. Right there, right there, officer down, right there. Officer down. Yes, yes, okay. What do you want to do? Right here, right here. Officer down. Oh, down. Officer down. They're backing. Officers out. Officers out. Take cover. Officers out. Take cover. Watch those right here. They're going to double back on us. We're in here down the rally. We got one down. We got one down. world there's room for everyone and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone the way of life can be free and beautiful but we have lost the way greed has poisoned men's souls has barricaded the world with hate has goose stepped us into misery and bloodshed we have developed speed but we have shut ourselves in machinery that gives abundance has left us in want our knowledge has made us cynical our cleverness hard and unkind we think too much and feel too little more than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. 
The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! Yeah.